In a monumental case like this, sequestration is all about making sure jurors are alone with their thoughts at night, completely alone. Or as criminal defense attorney Jack Rice put it, The reason that you sequester a jury is because you want to keep them away from everybody else. You want them to have their own ideas, their own thoughts, and you don't want them influenced by anybody else. It's critically important that they understand what they understand and that when they do ultimately talk with other jurors, the impact upon them and the impact upon each other is just between that group. The final 12 jurors include four white women, two white men, three black men, one black woman, and two multiracial women. They'll be escorted by deputies to and from their hotel rooms and won't have access to their phones most of the time. It's critically important that at this final stage that you do everything right. The last thing Judge Cahill wants is a mistrial. You get a mistrial again, you have to start picking a jury all over. The jurors in the Mohammed Noor trial were sequestered. We exchanged emails today with a verified member of that jury who told us the moment we started deliberations, we had our phones taken away by deputies. Except for a brief period when we were allowed to call home and say goodnight to loved ones, we were not allowed to access them. I don't recall if the landlines and radios were taken out of the room, but they kept the televisions. They had the Netflix app available, so I just watched that a few hours instead of regular TV. They had at least one deputy outside the rooms on watch. We weren't allowed to leave rooms for any reason barring an emergency. The waitress who took our breakfast order was the only civilian we interacted with during deliberations. You're going to be going into deliberations and you may have to spend the night here. And so be prepared for that. Former CARE 11 reporter Dave Berggren in his college days served on a murder trial jury that was sequestered for one night. There's no TV, there's no radio, you don't have your phone, and there's a state trooper in the hallway. Like, you're in your room. Now people are, like, kind of married to these phones. It's, it's like the phone is an extension of their bodies. And that's got to be a complicating factor in terms of jurors wanting to rush through so they can get back to their phones. If you think about culture, you think about how much we have changed as a people, we answer questions all the time. And how do we do it? We jump on Google. At the end of the day, what this is actually about is this is actually about the evidence that's presented within this trial in isolation. It's a myopic view of the world, and this phone is not myopic. For CARE 11 News, I'm John Croman. Interesting insight there. So the jurors in the Mohammed Noor trial, they spent one night in a hotel room during their deliberations. So it's not unheard of to sequester. What we do not know and what no one knows, no matter what you see online, is how long this jury will take to get to its verdict. We'll be right back.